Hello, Pittsburgh, and hello especially to Mayor Bill Peduto and Chief of Staff Dylan, Dan Gilman. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the way you're um, messaging, especially Gilman on the Facebook is just splendid as far as your messages about the um, pandemic and the virus and how to behave. But I got some things that I'm pretty concerned about related to um, the summer 2020 with regards to some jobs and um, efforts with regards to um, our kids. You know, I got two kids, you know, there's a lot to worry about. And we've got um, some serious issues with regards to um, schooling, summer efforts now. Just an update, my son Eric's home with us now. He's starting a business in New York City. He's doing it from home. And it's um, july.ac. You're welcome to go check it out. I raise this point because um, I'm worried about jobs. He's going to be an entrepreneur and um, things of that nature. It's um, important. And my other boy, um, Grantman here, he's um, graduating from Tulane. And um, he's going to be um, going into medical school next year. Now, I show this little video clip. He's diving into water that's more than 20 feet deep. It's in a quarry. But I think our kids might be diving into the rivers. Um, pools might not be open. Um, and we've been working since November on doing a number of things with regards to the summer, excuse me, lifeguard recruitment initiative. Um, I worked with uh, Mr. Flanagan and myself. And we pulled together a pretty good group of people from all around the region, and we were working hard to get summer lifeguards. Now, I don't even know if the pools are going to open this year. You know, our city parks have the closed basketball and such, so um, it's a trying time. Um, we're a sports town. Here are some kids from the north side at Fowler Park, and I certainly have um, a bone to pick with you guys about that park with regards to the park tax, but um, I think as we move ahead, our kids have some issues, um, and especially with this Republic schools trying to be all digital all the time. It's our only option, and I am very happy to see that you approach that digital divide, you know, as one of your big bullet points, um, Mayor Pudo, and perhaps a lot of those summer jobs money could just go to the academic side and making sure that the kids have the tech that they need to um, do all their academic things. But there's a bigger picture out there with regards to um, managing the people and managing summer and giving some work experiences that make a lot of sense and still helping them with um, their tech literacy and with their fitness and with the sports. So I've been running this CLOH.org and I have a lot of other people that will be willing to step up and my solution to you this time is to um, allow us to form a group of 100 guys, 100 gals, you know, youngsters all in this youth jobs program and then let's build some open source efforts so that we can tap into our brain trust of volunteers this is us um, at Highland Park Pool last August playing water polo with some college guys. So I'm sure that we can make some meaningful experiences using open source tools, modern technology, and giving these kids some serious projects to work on as part of the summer jobs effort. Doing it completely remote, no um, need to even gather that we have to empower them with some tech. They have to be able to work and um, learn about wikis, learn about Wikipedia, learn about podcasting, learn um, about WordPress, how to make sites, not just play games and use technology, but to actually master it and to own it. Know things like GitHub and know how to collaborate, send emails and conduct interviews and know how to um, empower themselves there's something that we love to do with the kids that would be of great value is talking about concept maps. 
And this can get us onto the um, right page right away. There's athletic teams just learning new skills. And with working with other people on common objectives and common goals and developing relationships. And I have a, a opinions of what you know aquatics should look like, but there's plenty of things to do online with our tech community that ties into sports and fitness, but still won't get in, in trouble with regards to going in and um, needing to play pick up basketball you know, with the police or something. You know, we, we could do so much more, and we can do so much more than swimming into you know the river. So I want to build a network of people with creative activities and uh, using their talents and expertise and really get people powered. So we're at the end of April. A lot of these nonprofit people are um, trying to recruit kids for this program. There's probably going to be a big shortage where a lot of nonprofit people can't run a, um, a program this summer and probably won't want to. But we've got these youth to think about. So I'm glad to offer you a chance to take 200 kids. And our number one outcome should be for planning for the summer of 2021 so that we can have an all-city, all-regional sports literacy camp. And I can get people from around the nation, if not around the world, to help mentor our kids when it comes to sports and fitness as well as technology because i know that the mind leads the body follows and these kids need some meaningful reaction and um otherwise i was planning on running that swimming pool again this summer at the pittsburgh project which isn't going to open and i was also work looking to um, help kids at summer dreamers with pittsburgh public schools and um, i can't see how that's going to happen either so um this is a, a serious offer to you and I'm going to um, make my um, case, give you a couple weeks to think about it, and let's get going. I'd be glad to be called down to um, Grant Street, or we can meet online. It's probably even better. Talk with Ross and uh, get me um, some kids to work with this summer, and um, we can uh, make this a, a real project. So um, put a call out to Partners for Work. Let's um, make this happen. You know, we have experience here with you know interns and um, have a good safe spring and let's plan some serious challenges for our kids thanks for listening